Hey girl, boy, when you ready, show the world. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, no hate comments, no negativity allowed. Cause I will block you. I will block you. We love, we love. That's all. That's all. We uplift, we love. We uplift, we love. We don't care about the haters. We love them anyway. But they gotta go somewhere else with that. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. All right, real quick. Got mood out of the way. We got to give a present day look. Yes, we do. So it's from back when I was in my little heavier days. But y'all know how y'all got some things y'all just don't want to let go. I know I throw them away, but it's okay. I mind and mind, do you? But what I want to do real quick is come on here and talk about my personal journey with weight loss okay it has been five years this year since i have transformed my life for the better as far as my health and it has helped me mentally first because you have to make the mental decision first physically and then it has helped me spiritually and emotionally and i want to show you how you can do the same thing too because maybe you are at home struggling right now with trying to start your weight loss journey or maybe you feel like, oh, I'm stuck. I haven't seen any progress. I don't know what to do next. I am here because I am one of those people who live the life of eating just about any and everything and putting any and everything in my body, not really caring and um, ultimately feeling like I was at my breaking point as far as my weight, as far as like how I was looking, my self-esteem, all that good stuff. So I am here to share some information with all of you guys on how you can feel great and look great and make that decision for yourself. And without further ado, we gonna talk about today's topic of weight loss, weight loss. Oh, Y'all see the access belly fat? It don't matter cause I had a weight loss journey and I'm here to share it with you. Okay, you, okay. All right, it's all right, all right. It's becoming a little vibe right now. I'm a little hyper cause I had a cup of, a cup of coffee is smoking vibrant. Yes, it is. We're gonna sit there right there. All right, nobody know that it's like four o'clock in the afternoon, you still drink coffee. It's all right, it's 324, present day. It's all right, go. All right, so let's go back to 20, well, you're the 16. Pictures will be shown. <laughs> myself I was one uh 30 like three two I don't know but I was like I'm in my 130s I'm in the 130s I am 5'5 five five, and I am currently 25 years old but I will be 26 on April 26th go Taurus go Taurus okay so I am a Taurus I am a bull Okay, all that, a whole lot of guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, make sure you do so. Because every Tuesday and every Sunday, you shall receive another upload from me. And make sure you hit the notification bell because they be getting down on us and they don't be telling y'all when we upload. But every Tuesday and Sunday, come on back. Because respect some more goodies from me. I got a lot that I've been through and I got a lot to share with you and I am ready. Go back to 2016 where it all started. I was a junior in college and I remember this day so, 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 so vividly. And I was sitting in my bed. We lived in, me and my best friend, we decided to live in like this three bedroom dorm because we had free room and board. And we like, who about to pay when you ain't got to? If they giving you free room and board, bruh, take it, okay? We stayed in our dorms um, all four years for the most part. And during this time, this is when I felt my heaviest as far as my weight. My appearance 
didn't bother others really, but it bothered me personally like that. And I'm not trying to come here and throw shade at anybody. Freak no. Um, I was in a point in my life where I started to feel like, bro, you are heavy for your like size and and for your height, and it just doesn't look good on you type thing. So it it really started to play a part in my um in my life, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I think it's time to make a decision. And the decision came after I had a physical, and when I got on that scale, y'all, that dang on thing said 180. And I kid y'all not, like, most people are like, oh, you never wear that heavy, you never wear that big. To me, and for me, I was heavy. Um, my BMI and all that did not add and did not, like, match with my height, my size. So it was all over the place and it was wrong. So I had to make a decision to lose weight or to change my lifestyle. And... I think the reason I gained so much weight is because the freshman 15, but honey, they don't tell you about the sophomore 20 and the junior 30 neither. But I'm here to tell you because I personally went through that myself. I would go into the dining halls and I would go for late night food and I would eat like a double cheeseburger with like fries and I wanted pizza on the side too. And I wanted like a Sprite or, excuse me, or like, a fruit punch with it then I would still go up and find more food to eat because even to this day I am a foodie like I love to eat eating is probably like my favorite thing to do and but not eating in a harmful way eating for the enjoy Ooh, yeah. Tell us. Oh, coffee break for the enjoyment of like just tasting new foods having new flavors trying new thing type energy okay so I've always been like that and I still am to this day and I'm still grateful for that. I love food. Like if you follow me, which if you don't, you need to. TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, follow me. Live down description box. But during my college days, it was not for Flavor. It was not for just having fun with it. It was just like me. And over time, I'm like, bro, I'm really like getting stretching out. And I've always had like thicker thighs. I've always had like smaller boobs. I've always had like a little, my arms was a little chubby because in high school, the girl, she used to be like, girl, I just love your arms. I just like, I like to just squeeze. It's so fluffy. And I'm over here like, girl, can you go and take your chemistry quiz or something? Why did you bother my arm? But you got something better to do. It ain't like, I've never been a person like, girl, you irritate me. But I'm like, this is me. That I, can you please? Everybody who know me in real life, no, I would, can you please in a heartbeat? Back up. Okay. But. Y'all, if you feel like this video is just like me rambling, it is. It's okay. Just go with the flow with me. In 2016, I was sitting in my dorm room. I was by myself. And I was laying on my twin bed with my gray and white comforter. And I was just like, bro. And I remember looking to the right. There was like this mini fridge with a microwave sitting on top of it. And I was like, you know what? In all seriousness, you got to stop. You got to stop. You got to get it together because... You the only one that can get it together. And if you don't, you will never ever lose weight. You will never ever feel better. You will just continue to gain weight if you keep making these same choices and these same decisions. So in 2016, it is when I that is when I finally made the choice to start losing weight. And I have not looked back since. So present day, I have lost, I would say between 45 to 50 pounds because I, since I've last weighed myself, I think I've gotten a little smaller. So I would say I'm probably like 130 flat now, which for me is very, very comfortable. I am now comfortable in my skin. I feel great. Um, I feel like I look great. And ain't no wrong embracing that, baby. Be confident in everything that you do, okay? Ain't no wrong being a little confident. All these haters tell me, oh, you just fully yourself. What's wrong with loving me? Like, what's wrong with that? I want you to do that for you too, okay? But 2016 is when I started. So what I did to literally jumpstart my weight loss journey is this. 
I completely cut out red meat. And uh, really quick, another thing is I am a super duper duper disciplined person. Once I make my mind up about something, there is no changing it for me. There is no going back. I meant what I said the first time because I also know that if I continue to lie to myself, I will never get progress. I will never get results. So I work hard and I do what I need to do in everything I do. And I mean that and I, I want to share that with you all because it's literally about discipline and it's about hard work and not giving up and patience as well. So 2016, I let go of all red meat and I let go of pop or we call it pop where I'm from, Detroit hoes. But soda, can, whatever you call it, carbonated drink, okay? That's what I was drinking excessively. And I said, you know what? Today is the last day and I have not drunk another cup of pop since. I have not. I let it go. I let it go. I promise y'all, I let it go. And God is my witness. I have not went back to any of those things since that day. And I started eating more vegetables. I started eating chicken and seafood only. Okay, so I let go of all other meat, meats and all other things. So I'm still consuming dairy and I'm still consuming um, seafood and chicken, like I said before. I began to go to the gym with my best friend. We would go to the gym all the time or I would even run around campus. I've always been one of those people that love to run. Um, I would rather run than do any other form of exercise. It was just easy for me because I was, in my opinion, kind of fast. Okay, I never did like track and field. I wish I would have because I actually had some speed on um, I was in the process of learning to like go through the aisle and find like healthier options. Like I would buy like multi-grain flatbread for like pitas. I would use make like turkey pitas. Um, I would use like pepperoni or like mild peppers and spinach with mustard and mayo and that. And that was for me super healthy because it was a complete change of what I was used to eating type thing, right? So I would still go around and I would um, eat turkey and I would eat a lot of um, veggies that way. And then I also began to love stir fry. So this is when I started making like chicken stir fry with vegetables and rice. Like I really ate rice and veggies a lot because like I said again, back then to me, those were my healthy options and a complete, complete change from what I was used to. Eating like um, carrots with ranch. I would buy like, um, was vitamin water drinks. I would drink more water. I'd buy like this big jug and I would drink water. And I would carry lunches with me everywhere during my breaks at lunch. I would go buy like an apple, banana, and a yogurt. That was how I felt like um, I'm doing it. And during that time, I really was, y'all. It really helped me start my weight loss journey. And I would continue to go to the gym. But during this time, I really felt like I wasn't seeing like the results that I wanted to see going through the, going to the gym. And so once I start when I, once I stopped going to the gym, I felt like I saw more results. As crazy as that sounds. Um I feel like okay, I was losing weight, but I wasn't losing weight as fast as I thought I was. And for me, I was losing two pounds a week, which I thought was super healthy because I did my nose like right here, not inside but like on the rim is like really um itchy right now. So if you see me doing that, that's why. But I was, um, I stopped seeing like quick results once I, when I was going to the gym. I don't know why, what it was. Maybe I was like still eating way too many calories and not really knowing what I was doing in that moment, but I was still dropping two pounds per week, which is according to Google and according to a ton of research, that is the healthy weight loss per week. So I was, in my opinion, doing a great job, right? And I was because look where I am today. If it wasn't for me starting with those turkey sandwiches and those turkey wraps and those chicken stir fries, I would not have even began to lose weight. So that was my progress, right? And I'm here to tell you that if you feel like you need to start, um, that is a good way to start. Cut out the red meat, cut out all of the processed um, sugars, and try to limit your like candy intake, your um, sweet intake, and those refined sugars, like try your best and do so. 2016 to 2018 is like around the time where I was doing the chicken and the, um, the rice and all that good stuff, but I was still eating, still intaking dairy products, I was still taking in meats and things of that nature. I was roughly one, 55, I say. Okay? So, I was still getting smaller. And my family and I'm like, oh, you losing weight. And I'm up here like, I, I am? Because for, that's another thing. 
just because you don't see weight loss doesn't mean it's not happening. You won't be surprised. Like, people will see it before you will. And that happened for me, too. Um, I didn't think I was really losing weight because I always had, like, a problem with the midsection area. It's like a genetic thing. Like, the midsection is where all the all the bread and all that goes. And that's another thing. I love me some bread. Okay? Still do to this day. As long as it's vegan friendly. I like bread. But I was going into... Um, the grocery store with the mindset of, hey, let's go get more fruits and vegetables. Let's get chicken breasts. Um, I would grill my chicken breast. Oh, I learned how to cook from you watching this YouTube video of this guy. He grilled, he cooked his chicken breast on top of the stove with olive oil. And I know a lot of people are opposed to oils, but using olive oil opposed to like more of the fatty oils, like vegetable oil and using flour to season it. And I would put it into hot olive oil and I would flip it like two times. This is with chicken breast only. And I like my chicken breast cooked kind of thin because they take a while to cook on top of the stove. And if you feel like you want the thicker one, just cook it on the stove. Then put the rest in, like make sure you cook the rest through in the oven. Just so if you make sure it's cooked through. I gotta take a pause because my nose is on tip, bro. Like what the hell? Let me go wash my hands. Sanitize. Damn. First to 2018. So 2016 to 2018, I was in taking chicken. I was in taking seafood. So I like tilapia a lot. Then I learned tilapia. Now you're in a real fish. So I was like, you know what? Bump that. And that's another thing. I am very, very, very ingredient conscious. I pay attention to the things on the back um, of products. And most of the time, I still have like a few exceptions, even present day, where I would let myself slide. Like, okay, not not like um, eating like dairy or anything like that. But like. If it's something that I remember that I used to like indulging in and I still see that as vegan friendly, I take myself back like, oh, I had a throwback. I can still eat this. Like, wow, okay. And I'll treat myself type thing, right? But I've learned to be ingredient conscious. I pay attention to every single detail on foods. And that's another great way to monitor like what you put in your body and ways to lose weight. Also, Pinterest is a very, 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 my favorite app. Like, yeah, y'all got social media. But Pinterest, like somebody says, social media without the noise. That bad boy right there will help you get through life. And I don't care. Like, y'all can say what y'all want. Pinterest is my jam, okay? My jam, for real, for real. But um, I went to Pinterest, and Pinterest really helped me navigate through all the recipes and all the, the beneficial ways to, to get through and learn to, like, eat better and clean eating. I also made a ton of smoothies. And in my smoothies, I would use like yogurt opposed to dairy milk. Um, I would use like um, strawberries, pineapples, and then I started getting into like the um, almond milk and things like that. But I didn't really get into almond milk heavily, heavily until 2018. Like 2018 to 2019 is when I completely, I'm sorry, I'm looking out the window, I see an Amazon delivery guy and I'm like, I ain't got no packages, but okay, they might be, it's a ton of people live over here. 2018 to 2019 is when I made the decision because I became so I've been lactose intolerant like I knew I should have been cut out dairy But I was one of the people that loved cheese so much and eggs so much bro Like eggs and cheese were my thing and I was like, you know what? Um, this ain't good for my system like I began to have like a t I've never been like acne prone But I would always get those you know those like pimples you get when you know you just had too much of one thing So when I had too much cheese, I would always get acne like down here um uh, i would get it like randomly on my forehead or like right in my eyebrows and i'm like bro for some cheese bro like uh -uh. we good on that so i i cut it all out yes i did where's the light in that but um 2018 2019 is when i decided to cut out all dairy except eggs i see dairy and eggs are two different things okay yes it is all right, so I completed, I cut out dairy because I got tired of having to take a dump. I'm gonna just say that because I'm one of those people that's like kind of blunt when it comes to information like that. I am not afraid to say that I like to take a poop. All right, you should be pooping a lot, a couple times a day actually. Clean that colon out, make sure that colon is clean because colon cancer is a real thing. Um, back, your system being backed up is not funny. It's not funny when you're taking three hours on the toilet. Like 30 minutes to have a bowel movement is not normal, okay? And there are ways to like really get your system going. And I could also get into that in another video too if you want to learn how to poop. And yeah, you think I'm like being funny right now? I'm being serious, y'all. There, there are different poops like 
it should look a certain way, it should be a certain color, it should be a schlong one, not like poop, 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 pebbles. I've been a person that has had pebble hoop my whole life. Then when I went vegan, I'm like, this is how it comes out, and this is the way. Okay, TMI, but it's all right. So <laughs> no, I'm for real. Seriously, uh, I completely turned out all dairy except eggs in 2018, 2019, and it, re it really helped my life. Hold on a second. Pause break, gotta do an order real quick. Gotta order real quick. Gotta order real quick. Gotta order real quick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Probably ain't even moving none, but it's all right. Give me one second. So we are back. All right, I had to take a little break and do some ordering real quick because we got some festivities to take part in today. So, all right, we doing what we want to do around here, but it's okay. That's what I was saying. 2016 to 2018, I was living a pescatarian lifestyle, which is no red meats, but I was still intaking dairy, chicken, seafood. Boom. Now, 2018, 2019, I let go of dairy, but I was still taking in um, chicken and uh, chicken and seafood, but no dairy products. So this is when I transitioned to almond milks. I transitioned to dairy-free options, but I would still eat eggs. I will also make a ton of like omelets with vegetables in it, with chicken. Um, I really like embrace like learning new recipes and really try to find like ways to lose weight. So I will always eat like salmon, not salmon, salmon and L is silent, 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 <laughs> silent, uh, help, like no, whatever. But I will eat a ton of salmon. I will eat a ton of broccoli and like rice type meals. You know the ones that you see like on the meal prep and ones. Stuff like that, but try to. I got bored. I did. I'm not gonna lie. I got bored. I was like, you know what? This is not fun anymore. And I didn't want to go back into like my old habits, which I knew I wasn't gonna do anyway. But I'm like, okay, I can always like spice it up a notch and do like different ways of cooking all these different things. By all means, if that's what you want to do, do so. But like I said, I personally got bored and I started gearing towards like since I was dairy free. I really wasn't interested in chicken anymore. I was like reluctant about seafood. I would still eat it. But I had too many times where I feel like people would tell me things were dairy free and I would eat like the meats and all that. But they were like, oh, this is dairy free. But I end up breaking out. And I'm like, somebody lying to me. And this would be in like restaurants because obviously when you're at home, you know what you're putting in your food. But when you go out to eat, if it's not labeled a certain thing that's dedicated to that specific lifestyle only, there's no telling what's in it, right? So I feel like a lot of times when I would ask for dairy-free options, they would say they would, but next thing you know, I'm like, why is this tasting like salt, like butter in it? Like, come on now. So I'm like, this is not the move and I'm I'm tired of it. So this is when I was like, you know what? I think I wanna just become vegan. So 2019, um, it was actually my year anniversary on uh, September. I made a post on my Instagram and go follow me if you haven't already. And this is when I chose to go 100% vegan, September 1st, 2019. And I have not looked back since. It has been by far my very, 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 very favorite part of my journey, my health journey, my eating lifestyle, my whole, my whole body has changed, my mental has changed. Um, I've lost mostly all my weight from being vegan, even though I did a pretty good job before I chose to go vegan. That's why I made this video because you may not want to go vegan um, and then you may want to go vegan. So I'm here to tell you, show you that both ways, either way is possible for you to lose weight because I was in your shoes or in somebody's shoes at one point. I've done it. I've been through it. I'm not a medical professional. My nose is like itching. Like what the actual is going on like right there right there like right there what is that why why can i just like get rid of it <laughs> fudge so this is what y'all probably want to know did i exercise no i stopped going to the gym in college because like i said i feel like i lost more weight just from my change in my eating lifestyle i feel like me personally just saying you know what scratch all this processed stuff all these unrefined sugars all the things that are um, are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? All the items that are showcased as like, oh, healthier options or all the junk that we're used to like intaking, I just let it go. 
And I was just here to tell you, like, if you really discipline yourself and you really want it for yourself, you can actually do it. And I am living proof. Like, look at me. And I, like I said, I have been a person that experienced and had a problem losing, like, weight in my midsection. You see, it's still like a little flabby right here. Little, but we got, we did, we got progress. Like, I ain't got no fat rolls. I had rolls. Like, you could see, you probably could see the line. You see my hair under my bit? Yep, check that video out. Don't come from my hair into my pits. So I will come back. All right, but I'm not, I promise y'all I'm nice. I'm nice, I'm nice, but I don't take no drum. All right, but you see, I had like crease because I was heavy. And I know the photos will show and tell y'all like, it was my face, my face got a lot smaller. Uh, what else? I feel like I've gotten a lot more energized, even though I've always been an energizer bunny. Um, I've been like on 10 my whole life, like I'm just antsy, I can't help it. But other than that, I really feel like I am just, feeling great. I could fit like into whatever I want to wear. Um, what's my size right now for clothes? If I had to pick like a size where I'm truly comfortable, pants, I'm like a four. I was in a 12. Yes, I went from a 12 to a four. So I dropped, how many sizes is that? Uh, eight sizes? Or how many sizes is that in clothing? So 10, 10, 8, 6, 4. So I dropped four, uh, quote, four pant sizes. And I also dropped, um, I'm in a small or even sometimes an extra small in shirts now. And this is not me being like too small. I am comfortable. Like I am happy, proud of myself. Like I did it and I'm continuing to do it. And it's a day to day thing. Um, I have my times where I do gain a couple more pounds and I have to realize like, okay, slow down because I am into cooking and baking and if you don't follow me on TikTok what are you doing because I got all my cooking videos on there Instagram I try to showcase that part of my life on there and I will be making a cooking channel soon dedicated to my vegan life once I move out of here so that might be a couple months it might be a year we don't know but it's coming in due time but for right now I am very very happy with my journey it has been a journey uh, for real and I want to tell you that all this will come with patience. It took me five years to get to this size and I never thought I would get this small and I am super proud and I'm gonna stand on my chair just so y'all can get like a good visual of me now. And like I still have like um, some thigh, yes. Some boot tie, yes. Got dog and some cheeks, grow up. Uh, yeah, my waist has gotten a lot smaller. Um, yes, I'm happy, y'all, and I feel great. I stay uh active because I did work in a restaurant, but I quit that thing because they got me bent. Yes, so I'm here to tell you that, like, you can exercise, you can go into like a true fitness journey if you want to tone out. Because sometimes I do think, like, yeah, I should go into the gym and I'll probably like get rid of complete all of my belly fat, actually get some tone in my body. But personally, y'all. As active as I am, I am always on the go, like always. So I'm constantly running around regardless. I like to be outdoors. So for me, it works. But um, if you're one of those people that feel like, hey, I think I should just like do the gym and actually work out while eating healthy, you, you can do that as well. But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to and you can actually lose weight without going into the gym. But there is nothing wrong with a little fitness, okay? It's actually great for your body. Keep that heart going, keep your body active keep yourself up it keeps your mental clear drink a lot of water that is something that i've been struggling with a lot lately and i don't know why but um drinking water has been a struggle for me a lot of water at that and i'm here to tell you that i am human as well i don't have it all together i'm not perfect but i am a true testament that you can drop weight and i was gonna gonna just come on here and share that with you all and i hope somebody found something really 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 informational today just to like sum everything up this is what you can do to lose weight without going to the gym completely cut out all red meats cut out sodas if you can help it cut out dairy um dairy can be very very detrimental to the body or just limit your dairy intake um and if not, do you. If you feel like you could take it and it doesn't bother you, by all means, continue to do so. I just want you to know that you should do what works for you. And don't compare yourself to anyone else's journey. Please don't look at this video and think like, oh, boom, it's going to take five years for me to lose weight. It might take three for you. It might take seven. It might take a couple months. These forms of eating disorders or overeating, these are all real things that happen in real life. And I am not a medical professional at all. I am just somebody who has my own personal experience. And I just want to share with you all the way that I drop 
a lot of weight and it comes with time it comes with a lot of patience and just don't give up stay hopeful stay stay prayed up stay stay spiritual stay whatever by all means helps you go and keeps you motivated do that okay and then but yes that's basically all i have for you all so subscribe today hope you found this video informative dang why you gotta slap your legs like that it's all right dang don't be salty as hell for all of my lovelies out there, I want you to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, if you haven't already, because I have a lot of love and information to share with you all. I cannot wait till the world sees me and knows who Sammy Sosa is. Even though this lighting keep going in and out, it's all right. I'll come up here to y'all. But yes, I hope you enjoyed today's video. With that being said, so subscribe. Let's help one another out. If you need any. And I mean, any help, feel free to email me down below. My email is left down there. Um, you can talk to me on all social media platforms, DM me. You can also Snapchat me. I am a sucker for talking to people and I thrive off it, like I said before. So I'm always open to conversating and actually learning other people, for, or not learning other people, or learning what people need assistance with that is what i'm here for i even now like right now i still help people out in day-to-day -day life because they see me all the time and they see that i've done it these are people that have known me from when i was in my heavier days to now so let's embark on this journey together let's continue to do so if you're one of those people that's considering a vegetarian life or a pescatarian life or a vegan life which is that one right there by all means, let me know. I got you covered. With that being said, subscribe. squad, let's do this thing called getting ourselves together. Total wellness is the end goal. I love you all, sister squad. She'll see you on my next one. With that being said, Tuesday and Sunday, I got you covered. All right, be y'all. <laughs>